Zanmaron may knowledge guide you. Do you know what this is about? Strength through chaos, honored friend. I have no idea. I suppose you were in the middle of something. My history of Gilinor. I have almost reached the dawn of the Second Age. Ah, when my Lord Zamorak enters the scene. When may the rest of us read this masterwork? When it's ready, my impatient friend. You know that. Strength through wisdom, gentlemen. Do either of you know what this is about? We have no idea. I suspect Azris is keeping us waiting in order to inject some drama into her announcement. She has an announcement? That's what I'm guessing. Ah, here she comes. Balance is power, my fellow wizards. I'm sure you're wondering why I've gathered you here. Honestly, my dear, it hadn't occurred to us to ask. Since Guthix guided my Order's founder to the Rune Essence Cave, the tower has struggled with the problem of transportation. For every rune we make, we must bring essence here from the mine, through icy wilderness and across pirate-infested seas. Wizards of all our orders have lost their lives, bringing the runes the tower needs. We have long known that teleportation is possible, but have failed to invent a new spell that could connect the tower to the rune essence. My fellow wizards, this document contains the theoretical framework that will allow us to create new teleport spells. Azris, this is amazing! If this is true... Templin, would it work? Mm, yes, I believe it would. It solves both the distance and line of effect problems by routing the movement through a second plane. Of course, we'll need to find an appropriate plane to use. All I have is the seed. I will need each of your help in developing it into a ritual. No one of our... Even so, what you've shown us here is a major breakthrough that deserves recognition. Whose work is this? It is my own. After a lifetime of searching, Gothic saw fit to grant me the necessary inspiration. You are too modest, Azris. The gods may inspire us, but the work is our own. Indeed. And there is more work to be done. We should all study this properly, and then reconvene. I will be in my study with my apprentice. Strength through chaos, my fellow wizards! such pettiness. Do you really think that? The gods fought one another in the gold wars, but they're gone from the world now. I thought the followers they left behind could put aside their differences. And it did work, for a time. The first tower stood for 70 years, and its wizards invented most of the spells we use today. I suppose I must have done. I was barely more than a child when I joined the tower, and Wizard Elrond told me about its history. I used to daydream about the old tower, wizards of all faiths working together. After the meeting in the Shrine Room, the Masters would have gone to their studies to talk to their apprentices. 
Can you try to trigger another memory there? Who's a... I... Master, I am your apprentice, and I belong to the Order of the Red Wizards of Zamorak. Then why did you take your idea to Azris of the Green Order, rather than coming to me? I thought... May, may and I thought that since Azris was the expert on teleportation research... May and you... So both the Green and the Grey Order saw your idea before I did? I'm sorry, Master. But, but, but it came to nothing anyway. Azra said the idea was a blind alley. Earlier today, Azra presented your idea to the Council as her own work. What? When I looked into it after the meeting, I saw your handiwork in there, and traces of the problem that I set you. You have a brilliant and chaotic mind, Calavan the Red. As this has worked on the same problem for so long that her mind has turned to stone, and her apprentice hasn't had an original thought in his life. They stole my idea. No, Calavan. They took your idea. They took it when you handed it to them. How many times have I told you that we do not trust the other orders? This tower became great precisely because the four orders are in conflict with one another. We of all the orders should remember that. What are you going to do? What am I going to do about Azris taking your idea? Nothing. You missed your chance to have your name attached to this. I will put hands over your head for the rest of your career, spurring you on to greatness. Perhaps then, Zamorak will make something of you. What I'm going to do is complete your work. Your solution requires a second plane of existence for the travel to pass through. I mean to find such a plane. If I can do that, then the Red Wizards will take some credit for the ritual, even if, thanks to you, it is not the full credit we deserve. Go now! Think about how you can redeem yourself in Zamorak's eyes. I need privacy for my meditation. Yes, Master. As a Korax, keeper of the key to the abyss, hear me. By the staff of Armadil, on which Samorak impaled the Empty Lord, I charge you to appear. Who calls me from the infernal vestibule? Have you managed to trigger a memory in one of the studies? A demon? I knew that some of the Red Wizards were demonologists, but I had no idea there was a demon involved in the spell that created the power beam. Of course, that makes a lot of sense. 
Teleport spells need to move the Traveler through a second plane of existence in order to bypass obstacles. The teleport spells in the standard spellbook use a plane called the Abyss. It's dangerous and chaotic, but that's not normally a problem because you're only there for a split second. The old wizard's ritual created a link to the Abyss which teleport spells could then use. That's what the Power Beam is. All our teleport spells use the Power Beam as an anchor. Something modern day wizards have never understood though, is how the connection to the Abyss was made in the first place. That must be what the Red Master wanted from the Demon. The key to the Abyss would have been the last thing they needed to create the Power Beam. People are never going to drop that, are they? Yes, I talked to the cage demon in the wizard's tower. Elrond taught me that you can't trust demons, but that doesn't mean you can't ever learn from them. You just need to be careful. The blue order of the old tower forbade any contact with demons, though. I don't imagine the blue master would have been pleased if she found out the red master had summoned a demon. After he completed the ritual, the Red Master would have needed to distribute it to the other Orders. I would guess that he did that by meeting the Four Apprentices in the library. See if you can trigger another memory in the library. I think you'll need all Four Apprentices and the Red Master. <laughs> 